Kling AI multi-element tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back. So if you are looking to add different elements into your AI videos, you can do it with Kling AI. Kling AI allows you to create exceptionally hyper-realistic videos as well as images. And they have the ability to take any of your pre-existing images and include elements, things such as your subject, your background, and more. So let's get started. To get started, you're going to have to go into Kling AI and you're going to log on to your Kling AI account. So we're just going to be logging on to our account over here. Now on the bottom left, you will find your subscription as well as the number of credits you do have. And they have three basic subscriptions, which we will be discussing at the end of this video. Now to get started with using their element option, we're going to go into image on our left menu bar. Once you click on image, you have a couple of different options, such as text to image and then image reference. Once you go into image reference, you can go into elements and you can include different elements. So how can you add or remove anything from a image? Well, you can add images or elements in the form of a subject, scene, or style. They have some samples for this as well. So you guys can see we have this sample where we have two subjects. We have the art style. You guys can see there are multiple different varieties of this. So they do have a couple of different options. This is the location and then this is the art style. And I'll show you guys what this example really looks like. So starting off, this is these are the two subjects. So we have this bouquet and then a girl. Then we can also proceed with adding our scene, which is this particular scene. And then after that, we also have the basic art style. So the art style for this is cartoon. Now I can proceed with the prompt. Now in my prompt, the girl is holding the bouquet of flowers and laughing. Okay, this is what I'm going to put in within our prompt. And then I can choose the aspect ratio. I want it to be a one ratio one image, or let's say I want it to be a horizontal image. So I'm going to go with 3 ratio 2 or 4 ratio 3 and then I'm going to choose 2 or just one output for this and then I'm just going to click on generate. Now this allows you to add or remove any element and you guys can see I've already done this for a couple of my other images. This was one of my basic images and if you guys scroll up you guys can see in this particular generation this was my subject that I selected. So this was the subject image that I uploaded. Now I added this in the element section then this was the scene that I added and then this was the style and then my basic prompt was the subject is sitting on a stone in front of the castle and it has adapted quite nicely. However, let's take a look at what our current image is going to create because our subject, I've added actually two subjects within this. So this includes a rose bouquet as well as a woman. And just like so, this has created our wonderful little image. And I personally really do think that this is a great image. It has incorporated all the elements that we added. Now you can do this for images as well as videos. If you go into video generation on the left, you click on multi-elements and you can upload videos to edit and upload images to edit as well. So if you want to create a image with a certain element, you can do so, but you can also convert a image with elements into a video as well. Now I'm going to click on over here and I'm going to be using this particular video that we have created and I'm going to be adding elements within this. So this is the video that we created. And this is just a woman walking in a castle and I'm just going to click on confirm. Now below that you can swap and then upload a different image. So I'm going to go ahead, go into the stock library and I'm going to ask it to change the face of the woman to this particular woman over here. So swap X from X video like so. So I am going to go on ahead and we're going to redo our prompt swap the woman in the video to the woman in the image. I'm going to remove this where it says at the rate of and instead of saying the woman in the video so I can also just do at the rate of myself swap video woman to the woman in the image or to 
And I'm just going to put at the rate of the woman in the image uh, or create her without the glasses because she is wearing glasses and I do not want to include glasses. And now I am going to go with standard. I want the duration to be five seconds and I only want one output. And I can click on generate. Now, you do have the ability to add and delete elements, but first uh, we're going to take a look at the basic swap feature. So we're going to go on ahead. Please specify the selection of video to edit. So within this, we are going to click on add selection and we are going to just select our main character here, like so. And then I'm going to click on confirm. And I am going to, again, I might want to do this at the start like this. So yeah, this is a accurate distinction. So the outlines were pretty accurate. And now I'm going to click on generate. Now this can take a little more time because obviously this is a video. So sometimes this can be a bit more time consuming. And I'm just going to wait until this has been completed to show it to you guys. And you guys can see our video has now been created and my subject has been swapped out. So instead of my original subject, which was this person over here, now we have this person added as a subject and we have now changed the person. Now this is just an example of us swapping the person. If you want to add or remove elements, you can go into add on the left and add multiple elements into one video as well. So you can upload images and you can add multiple different elements in a video. You can also delete elements from a video as well. Keep in mind that this is a bit more credit heavy. So if you are looking to do this, you might want to purchase some credits on Kling AI. So if this is something that you primarily might be doing, you want to go into the purchase credit option and Kling AI has three different credit options and plans. So you can directly purchase credits for a certain dollar amount or you can go into their subscription plans. So if you go for their monthly subscription at only $7 per month, this gives you access to 660 credits per month. Whereas the pro plan at $26 gives you access to 30 to 3000 credits per month and the premier gives you access to 8000 credits per month. So you're able to create amazing videos and images using Kling AI. Now, this image element feature swap or delete or removal or addition can be done both in images as well as videos. But when you're doing this in a video format, you're not able to add subjects, scenes, and styles. Instead, you just have to add whatever image that you want to include in the video, and then that will be added accordingly. So you can add multiple images, but you do not have the capability of adding scenes or backgrounds separately. Do keep that in mind if you're looking to add or delete backgrounds or cartoon styles because you would have to specify that within the prompt section rather than being able to add it as a default value. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using elements, addition, and removal within the element feature of both images and videos in Kling AI. If you guys did find it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.